between the Redmi 13C and the Samsung Galaxy A05, which one will give you better value for your money? Well, I will be using seven different metrics to analyze these two phones. So at the end of this video, you should have an answer to that question. Now, it seems Samsung is actually trying to redefine what budget means because I don't understand the reason why they will not include a charger, at least a complete charger in the box of a budget phone. When it comes to what's in the box, for the Samsung Galaxy A05, everything you get is just the USB Type-C, the Type-C charging cable, and a SIM ejector tool that you don't really need, at least if you have a wife, you can use that earring to open the SIM card tray off your phone. Meanwhile, the Redmi 13C packaging gives you way more, at least you have a complete charger. So really, for the first category, I think the Redmi 13C is a better phone to buy if you do not have any extra money to spend on phone accessories. Now let's go to the second category, and that is built and design. Now when it comes to build quality, both phones are practically made of recycled plastic, which is what you expect from a budget phone. But when it comes to design, we can't state a winner out of the two and that's because both phones have very elegant looking design. But something you must take note is that if you chose to go with the Samsung Galaxy A05, please don't buy the black one. It is a fingerprint magnet Pro Max, except you want to buy a case because you cannot use this phone without a case on it. But for the Redmi 13 c you can actually manage without the case because it has a matte finishing, it doesn't attract fingerprints and even dust. So when it comes to build and design, I think the verdict is on you. Now let's go to the third criteria and that is display. For both phones, you actually get a 720 pixel IPS LCD display that looks really vibrant and can show up really true colors when you are viewing video contents on them. But the Redmi 13C tends to give you a little bit more, and this is what I mean. For example, you get a 90Hz refresh rate as against the 60Hz that you get on the Samsung Galaxy A05. And secondly, the 90Hz is adaptable, so you can switch between 90 and 60. But for the Samsung Galaxy A05, it is not adaptable, so you cannot switch. And as it has not enough, the Redmi 13C screen actually have a cunning Gorilla Glass protection against light scratches. You don't get that with the Samsung Galaxy A05. So in this category, we definitely will be giving it to the Redmi 13C. But one major aspect where the Samsung Galaxy A05 surpasses the Redmi 13C is in terms of fast charging. It supports up to 25 watt fast charging for the 5000mAh battery that you have inside this phone. And even though the Redmi 13C also have the same 5000mAh battery, it supports up to 18 watt fast charging. But the truth is, which one would you prefer? An 18 watt fast charging phone with a 10 watt charger or a 25 watt fast charging phone that doesn't have a charger in the box? Well, I guess the question is for you to answer. But that aside, both batteries are good. They will take you a day and even more depending on how you use them. When I tried out both phones, I actually got more than six hours screen on time for both of them. So that is very, very good if you ask me. Now let's go to something else where the Samsung Galaxy A05 is top, top, top notch and that is software support. Even though both phones come out of the box with Android 13, we are sure that the Redmi 13C will be getting Android 14. But what we are even sure of is that the Samsung Galaxy A05 will be getting Android 14, 15, and 16. So that means in terms of software support, the Samsung Galaxy A05 is obviously the better device. But I can't say the same for performance. That's because even though both phones have the same MediaTek Helio G85 running them, they also both have the same Mali G52 GPU, they also have the same 4 gigs of RAM that you can extend up to 6 gig or 8 gig as you so choose. I just find performance to be more fluid and smooth in the Redmi 13C than in the Samsung Galaxy A05. Now talking about practical use cases, when I went out to take pictures with both phones, it was so much easier for me to view pictures I just took with the Redmi 13C than with the Samsung Galaxy A05. And even when it comes to keeping apps running in the background, the Redmi 13C just seems to do it longer than the Samsung Galaxy A05. So really, in terms of performance, the Redmi 13C just kind of outperforms the Samsung Galaxy A05. Now, don't forget that I already said the Samsung Galaxy A05 will be getting lots of updates. So over time, it's going to definitely stabilize and be more optimized. But judging with the facts on ground right now, in terms of performance, I would definitely be giving it to the Redmi 13C. Now, let's switch to the cameras. Both phones have the same 50 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Now, when I compare the pictures taken by the 50 megapixel main cameras of both phones, I just find the ones taken by the Redmi 30C to be more appealing to the eyes, at least in terms of contrast, color, and sharpness. But you can let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Even in portrait mode, there are two things I always look out for, object suppression from the background and HDR processing. 
and it seems the Redmi 13 c still does a little better job in these two aspects than the Samsung Galaxy A05. For videos, both phone shoots a maximum 1080p at 30fps and you get a little bit of software stabilization from both phones. Okay, so this is me testing the back cameras of the Samsung Galaxy A05 and the Redmi 13C. They both have 50 megapixel main camera behind, so what do you think about the audio quality and the video quality for the back cameras? And how do they handle HDR processing? Let me know in the comment section below and let's go back to this thing. And this is how the video quality at 1080p 30fps looks like. What do you think about the quality, the difference, how are they processing the slides behind me? So just let me know what your thoughts are when you look at the front facing camera and of course audio for both phones, yeah? Thank you so much. Now at this point, I must say that the cameras of the Samsung Galaxy A05 is really inconsistent when it comes to picture processing. Some of those pictures you just saw right now were actually selected. I have way many others that are not really that good at all. And like I said in my review of this phone, I hope more updates are going to come out that will eventually take care of the stability or inconsistency issues with the cameras of the Samsung Galaxy A05. So in the camera department, the obvious winner is also the Redmi 13C. So here is a summary of all of the seven criterias and which of the phones I think do better in each of these different criterias. Do you agree with everything I just said or do you feel that there are some I wasn't being fair? Let me have a comment below. Now, if you're still thinking which of these two phones to buy, I have a more detailed review of the two of them showing right on the left and right of your screen. So click on any of them. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video, please also, so that it gets to more reach. Thank you for watching. I'll see you when you see me.